Hey there, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, people talking behind your back and whether it's a lie or the truth or anything else. Um, if people are gossiping about you or sharing things that you share with them to people that have no business knowing, um, that can pretty that that can upset a person. I know that I used to get very irritated when I would share something with somebody and then I'd find out that they shared it with a bunch of other people. However, what I've learned over my adult life here is that once that is exposed to me, that they don't keep what we talk to themselves, I don't share things with them anymore. I don't look at it as a bad thing or a negative thing. I look at it as now I know that this person has to be at arm's length. They can't They can't be close to me. I can't share certain things with them because they don't know how to shut their mouth. Um, and I don't, I'm not mad and angry with them. I have no irritation with them. It literally is, I now know that that person is not grown up and that they have no respect for other people. So, I just, I look at it as, like I say, a blessing in disguise that tells me this person doesn't belong in my personal life. I mean, you're still, if it's a family or a friend or, or you know, whatever it is, somebody that, that you still have to interact with, you just don't share certain personal things with them because you know they don't know how to shut their mouth. You don't have to be mad and angry at them. You now know who they are you now know where they fit in your life, if they fit in your life. And if somebody is telling lies about me behind my back, um, so it, it's happened several times over my adult life where I've heard from people that I mutually know with, with other people, not anybody in particular, just certain people. And they would come back and tell me something that they should not have known. And when I asked them, I'm like, well, where did you hear that? And then they would tell me the person that they heard it from. When I was younger, I would go confront the person. I'd be like, why are you talking that stuff? Why are you making things up? But that didn't do anything but cause me more stress. It didn't cause them stress. They thought, they thought it was great. They were attempting to get me upset. The truth is, is now if I hear that somebody's told lies about me and is gossiping, I literally respond to the person telling me and letting them know that's not how it went down. If I feel the need to tell that person that's sharing the information with me what actually happened, then I will. Like if my kid calls me and tells me something, I'm going to share with him what happened because he's my kid. But if somebody that's just uh, an acquaintance that I know mutually with somebody else and they share me with me, I'm not necessarily going to tell them exactly what happened. I'm just going to tell them you know, well, that doesn't make sense. This is, this is, this is reality. Um, and I'm not going to go back and confront that person. I'm not going to go back and talk to that person about it because the truth is, I don't need to. Why would I need to go and talk to that person about it? The problem, the problem isn't me. If I was the problem, then I would have, I, I would have known right from the beginning what was going on. The fact that this was thrown at me in such a shocking way that somebody was saying something about me that was not true behind my back, that's not my problem. That's their problem. That speaks volumes about who they are. It tells you that they're not grown up. That they're not, they're not, they don't love themselves and they're not energetically leveling up. They're not trying to find their true authentic self or love themselves. Um, the reason that they gossip and tell these stories is because technically, I mean, logically they are in competition with you they want to have everybody like them over you and the truth is is if that what if that's what they need to have everybody like them better than you by all means have at it <laughs> anybody who needs that kind of attention that they're willing to lie and manipulate other people so then they can feel like they're better than you by all means have at it to me, it is my confirmation, it is my blessing in disguise that now I know that I, this person and I are going to have 
small, simple words. I'm not going to have much to do with them because I'm not going to give them things that they can lie, uh, lie about to other people. And lying isn't just an outright made up thing. It can be twisting somebody's words. It can be, it can be taking things out of context to, to support their, their, their agenda of trying to get other people to like them more than you. The truth is, I pity those people. I don't look at them empathetically. I look at them with pity because they don't realize how the way that they're living is creating them to stay stuck in that trap of needing to pretend like they're in high school and this is a popularity thing. The truth is, it was bullshit in high school and it is now in adulthood. I taught my kids when they were in high school, I said, don't don't be worried about what people say about you. Don't be worried about, about being popular or anything else. Because the truth is, when you get out into the world, those people aren't going to be what you think they are. They're going to be stuck in, in the, the time they believe was their big, powerful time. Being popular is nothing more than trying to to have somebody think that you're something great when what have you done to be great? Nothing. You just want to be popular. You just want everybody to know you and think that you're great. Well, the truth is beauty and greatness energetically radiate off of you if you are that. There's no need there's no need to there's no need to put other people down or talk about other people or tell stories about other people if you're beautiful and, and you're a great person. You, you don't have to do any of that. It radiates off you in the interactions that you have with other people. And when you find your true authentic self and, and learn to love yourself, it just happens. It just, it radiates off you. That's what I talk about when I'm talking about energetically leveling up. And the truth is, is <clears throat> we spend a long time being angry and bitter with these people. The truth is, is that anger and bitterness that you have is a poison that you've allowed yourself to have. Why would, why would you take their po the poison that they're trying to pawn off onto you? That's what they're doing. They're doing it to bring you down so then you don't energetically continue to, enter, to rise up. To make it so you don't turn into a better version of yourself. They are trying to keep you, as the saying goes, misery loves company. They're trying to keep you down at their level. They see that you're rising and they don't like it and they've got to make themselves look better. Well, by making themselves look better by telling stories or telling your secrets or anything else, that doesn't make them better. Other people that are good, decent people who love themselves and are, are, are authentic are going to see right through it and know that this person is just playing games because they feel insecure. And that's not going to get them a lot of great friendships because people don't want to be around inauthentic people. It, 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 it creates drama. And when you find your true authentic self and you learn to love yourself, you don't want to deal with drama. You try to avoid drama as much as possible and when you interact with people and realize that they're all about the gossiping and, and everything else, at that point you know this person, I we're not energetically matched so I, I, you don't have to stop being friends with them, you don't have to stop talking to them, you just know that you've got to keep them at arm's length and interactions have to be to a bare minimum. Um, and it's nothing personal, it's you protecting you. Because when you find your true authentic self and you, you love yourself, um, you're not focused on the outside world. You're focused on you and where you're headed. And anything that detours you or, or detracts you from, from that, you know, okay, this person, th this is just gonna drag me down. I I've, got, I've gotta walk away from this and I've gotta move towards where I'm going. To me, those are wonderful tells that let you know who should stay with you and who shouldn't. And if, they're upset because they can't continue to manipulate the situation because before maybe you were like I was and you would you would get irritated and, and, and upset. Um, when they start to see that that doesn't work, they're going to do it with a lot more people. Um, 
the problem is, is you're not caring because you really don't care. <laughs> you know who that person is and you have no desire to socialize or hang out with this person or have them be a big part of your life because you know what they are. And they can get pretty mean and nasty. But the truth is, they just laugh about it. Because I really don't care. I don't need the external validation. The reason they're doing it is because they need the external validation for them to feel good about themselves. And as long as you don't feel good about yourself, then they can feel good about themselves. That's not a good, decent, authentic person. That is somebody who misery loves company. <laughs> so anyways, uh, sorry I haven't been here for a few days. It's been a little uh, crazy with some uh, things going on. Um, I'll explain later at, at, at a different time. Um, but I did want to come on here and um, talk to you about the challenge that I had given you about looking in the mirror for a week and putting the notes. I know I'm a little a little behind. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but this time I want you to do the same thing for a whole week. But I don't want you to look at the external. I want you to look at the internal you. So you're kind to people. You you are you smile at people. Um, things that are internally you. You're a kind person. You're loving. You're you want to look inside you on these ones. And then at the end of the week, you're going to reread those. Again, no makeup, no no getting ready, just straight out of the shower or however you get ready in the morning. Before you fully get ready, read all of them and then look at yourself and see if you you look at yourself differently than what you did before. Now the big part is, is you don't want to be right up against the mirror. You want to put some space between you and the mirror because when you're close it's going to magnify all of your your um, your pores your wrinkles your, your your things like that a distance is going to be a little different um, and it's okay you have those things I'm not ashamed of any of my wrinkles or or any of that because the truth is I've earned them my my laugh lines are there because I've spent a lifetime laughing and that's that's pretty imp impressive and <clears throat> the wrinkles that I have you know other wrinkles that I have are like what the hell <laughs> you know they they they're all showing a life that I have lived and and it's been a wild ride and it's 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 been a wonderful growth experience and I'm looking forward to more growth so if you feel like getting into a conversation about any of this stuff or you need some help navigating things yourself um, or you feel like you're stuck with a gossip and somebody trying to outdo you to other people and you're having a hard time learning to bite your tongue, feel free. Reach out, leave a message down below, give me a call, email me. Um, we can figure out how to get you past it. Um, Laughter is the best medicine, so, and I'm good at it. <laughs> so give me a call if you need to. Um, anyways, I'll be back in a day or two. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye. Love ya.